Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about a an unique and very helpful function of the GreenShift plugin that allows you to make any kind of content as a carousel. This allows you to make your content more compact and presentable on mobile devices. So first we check on how to create sliders based on simple images. So we'll add a block that is called container. And after that, we'll add an image inside of this container. Then we click on media library like this, and we'll choose one of the images from here. So let's choose this one. So we have added them one under the other, and we don't worry about how they are displayed yet. In order for images to be added inside of the container, we just need to select the container itself and to click on the plus here. Then we choose image, media library, and we can choose the image from here. So let's choose, for example, this image. If you accidentally misclicked and added an image not inside the container, but outside, you can just drag it. In this case, we need to select navigator here, and then we just drag it into the container, like this. So now everything that we need to do is to select our container and enable the option Smart Scroll to Inner Items. And that's all, our block is now scrollable. But we can also make it as a carousel. So we click on use carousel script and when you have set a carousel, you will be given also access to other options. One of the options that is quite helpful is called autoplay. You can also choose the size of your arrow and its position. Moreover, you can also choose a color. When the user is clicking on the arrow, only one element is going to be scrollable by default. However, there is an option to enable scroll of the whole block. You can also set gutter between the blocks. as well as minimum and maximum width of each section. This option works not only with simple images, but also with a grid of products and posts. So let's see how it works. So we add a block called simple post list that is used usually in Rehab, and we will set this block in the form of a grid. So now we need to select this block and put it inside of our container. In order to do this, we click on the icon of the block and we select container. Now our block is located inside of the container, as you can see here. Then we enable smart scroll to inner items. And as we can see, it doesn't work great. So what should we do here? First, let's try to make a shamanic rite. Well, unfortunately, it didn't help us. The problem is that the whole block is now working as one element. And we need to change this and to make each of the elements of our block to work as a slider element. We have a special option here, which is called Custom Scroll Container Class. To use it, we need to find a class of our container that contains our elements. So we need to click on developer tools in the browser here. Don't pay attention to these elements. We don't need them. We just need to click on the icon and to look at our block. So we open the list. 
And now the most important is to find the elements that are repeatable. So once we select them, we see that we select them on our page. And now we need to find the parent element that contains all our blocks. Here is it. So this is our parent element. Then we need to click on class and we can see our classes here. So now what we need to do is to copy one of our classes in this field here. And as we can see, now everything works in the way it should work. Now we can set the minimum width of our elements and we can enable use carousel script and all other options that I was talking about before. All of them are now available here. Don't forget that we also need to check on how this looks on mobile devices and to adjust it to it. So as we can see, it doesn't look so great so that we can increase the maximum width of each element. And now this way it looks much better. Then we click on update in order to save the changes. This function works absolutely for all blocks. For example, we can also use very convenient block query loop that was added recently in WordPress. A great benefit of this block is that you can customize it and to add absolutely any design that you like. For example, you can also change the size or you can pull over the elements. You can also add additional elements. For example, let's add one. So we add thumb counter without label. This one. So the possibilities here are absolutely endless. And of course, you can use this block as a carousel. So we select the topmost level of our block and then we transform it to a container. And now we repeat the procedure that we did earlier. So we enable smart scroll to inner items option and then we go to developer tools in our browser. We look for our parent element. So here is our parent element. And then we click on class here. And let's, for example, take blog post template. Try to take those classes that are more unique. So for example, let's say class WP block it is used not only in this block, but in all the blocks, while blog post template is used exactly in our block. We enable use carousel script. And if for some reasons our carousel is not working here in editor, you can just click on this button, init carousel, and then we will set the width. Also, we'll set the gutter. And we can also enable auto play. We can just remove pagination because we don't need it here. Then we can increase the arrow size and its position. and then choose a color of the arrow and of the background. That's all for today. God bless you and your sites and see you in the next video.